Uh, as as uh, Stuff MC Manuel added, uh, Swift Lint is of course very very good for this. I'm not sure Swift Lint's quite ready for the Swift UI era though. I don't know what rules it has for things like uh, property wrappers. I've seen folks put property wrappers like at state on a line by themselves, then a line break, and then private var whatever below it. And I don't do it that way. I put it all on, on, on one line. Um, but then equally, if I was using something like at object members, which is not a, a, a property wrapper but looks like one, I've traditionally put that on a line by itself before my class. And I, I haven't really thought about it. But now I am thinking about it, and I kind of want Swiftly to say, hey, just... I'll take over that mess for you. Don't worry about your PRs being all about style guides. Here's just the important stuff. I'll take care of the formatting bits for you. But, you know, Swift Lint and, and Xcode and other tools, when you have an API that's changing so fast, it's so hard to keep up. And so function builders aren't even baked yet. And so having the tools that handle function builders, for example, uh, that's got to be tough. Yes. 